San Francisco's aquatic park is back open. It was closed Friday after a second swimmer was attacked by a sea lion. It was the second such attack in just two days. Only on five, our John Ramos spoke with that man who explains how he narrowly escaped death. Last Thursday, warnings were posted at San Francisco's aquatic park after a swimmer was bitten by a sea lion just outside the cove. So the next day, Rick Mulvihill decided to be safe and restrict his daily swim to inside the break wall. I was just swimming along and whatever it was, um, everybody's thinking it's a sea lion now. I never saw him, came up from underneath me and hit me. It's like being in a car accident. The large animal clamped its teeth down onto Rick's groin area, and when it finally let go, he had to hold pressure on the wound as he backstroked with one arm the thousand yards back to his swim club. His friend and fellow swimmer, Joe Boone, helped him onto the beach. There was no blood whatsoever, but I could just see there were deep wounds there. Rick was rushed to the hospital and was even given treatment to prevent rabies. And he's shaken, knowing that if the bite had hit his femoral artery, it could have killed him. And while sea lions are occasionally seen in aquatic park, swimmers here are alarmed by this aggressive behavior of the animals that live nearby. We've never seen them consistently swimming around. So that's, that's a new thing and that's an issue. And I think sea lions in, in Pier 39 is, is a problem. Just today, a sea lion was seen hanging out near this boat, and club members who normally swim alone are now grouping up into pods for protection. Rick says he will return to the cove, but... Next time I go in the water, I'll go in with a pod that surrounds me, and I'll swim in the middle. <laughs> in San Francisco, John Ramos, KPIX5.